Auto layout enables objects on your canvas to dynamically adjust based on the content inside, allowing your designs to be responsive and flexible. Some of the most common use cases for auto layout are any type of dynamic content that automatically adjusts based on content size, any responsive design elements that resize on different devices, any expandable or collapsible sections within a list, items that you need to be rearranged in a list, and really any data-driven content is a perfect use case for auto layout. But it is important to note that while auto layout can be a useful tool, even during the experimental phase of your design project, make sure it's actually enhancing your design process without making you feel creatively constrained. It's all about finding balance. And if you start feeling uncomfortable or confined, it might be a sign that you're overusing auto layout. But when used appropriately, auto layout can be super valuable and will help you quickly iterate designs and explore different layout possibilities. Let's start with creating an auto layout button with a text field. Select the text and hit Shift A to create an auto layout frame around it. Figma will automatically adjust the frame based on the hug content setting, which is the default. This means that the frame will 